Hi. Okay, uh, I think some of you all will be familiar with this. This is the DBS banking token. Uh. So when you need to access your banking services, sometimes you have to press this thing. And then when you press the little button there, right, you get the one-time password, which then you will use to log in. But then I'm sure some of you all might have this problem. Like you left it at home or left it at work, and then you cannot log in. Uh. This happened to me personally. So uh, best team introduces you the one-time presser. So what it does right, is, is this box here. On top, you have the Raspberry Pi, and then inside, you have a servo. And inside, you can see my token. Can you all see my token inside there? Okay. So the servo is supposed to press on demand and get the number out on the screen, and then send the number to me. Okay. So how it works right, is uh, you see the little arrow over there where there's a servo horn there. right? When I ask it to, it will press the thing, and then the numbers will appear on the screen, and then it will send it to me. The Pi camera you can see uh, is over there looking right at the numbers. Okay, uh, so I tried a demo. I don't know whether it'll work, but I try. Uh. Uh, just a moment. Uh. I need to get out of. Wow. Okay, so uh, I have my bank login here. I got no money. Okay. <laughs> and then I have my. <laughs> Sorry, uh, where's my. Okay, Telegram. Uh. And then uh, I just have to send an OTP command. Uh, let me get my phone. Uh. Oh. <laughs> uh, let me get my phone up so that you all can see the. Okay, uh, I'm going to put off the mic. You all just watch. Uh. Okay, so it's pressed the thing already, and then uh, you wait for it. You get a number here. Okay. <laughs> Uh, the, pro <laughs> the problem is sometimes the light gets in the way, and I don't know whether this is a zero. Uh, we can try. Uh, let me go to the. Okay. <laughs> we can try. Um, zero five eight seven nine two. Let's try that. Uh, zero five eight seven nine two. I don't know whether it's right because there's a light there. Oh, it's wrong. We try again. We try again. Uh, we try again. Huh? Uh, where's Telegram? Where's Telegram? This is Telegram. <laughs> Sorry, uh. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I stress uh, on stage. <laughs> ah, yeah. The reflection will still be there. You can tilt the box a bit. <laughs> Sorry, uh, so, yeah. Give it the time. Okay, okay, two bits. Oh no, okay. There's another number that I can't see. Okay, okay, I tried last time, I tried last time, I stand it up like that. Okay, um. Slash OTP. Oh, you all can see. Uh, right. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, I'm very stressed. Okay, uh, that looks like uh, 682941. Let's try. 682941. Can I? Eh? Sell Ah, can it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you can, uh, the theory is that you can do this anywhere, even though you're overseas or anywhere else uh, really, and then you can get your token. Uh. So uh, like I get some questions also, why do you do this electronically, like using an optocoupler? Because this is my main banking token, I can't afford to break it, so I can't do that. Um, can we do the same for SMS? Maybe you can try using like the Nexmo to rebroadcast. Uh. Maybe, uh, yeah, thanks for sponsoring. <laughs> so uh, another question I get is, if I break into your Telegram, can I access your bank account? The answer is yes. <laughs> yeah. So uh, take away, it's not the best idea, but you can try. Uh. Yeah, thank you for listening. Okay, everybody, because uh, because time is money.